Of all these faces, only six are going to the Olympic Games. Tonight, only one will be U.S. national champion. This is the Kiel Center in St. Louis, Missouri, site of the 2000 U.S. Gymnastics Championships. There are two things we know for certain. In about an hour, we will know who the 2000 national champion of the United States is, and we'll have a list of 12 gymnasts, maybe more, who'll be invited to the Olympic trials in Boston the third week in August. This year, the women are going to be selected as follows. Bella Caroli, with his fabulous Olympic credentials, will go into a room at some point during the Olympic trials with three other members of a selection committee. They will come out with a list of six, and that list may or may not go according to the final standings. That has some coaches and definitely the athletes uneasy tonight, right, Tim Daggett? Oh, it certainly does. The athletes and coaches are most, most frustrated by the fact that they don't know exactly what it'll take to make this Olympic team. In the past, typically, at the end of the competition, if you were in the top six, you got to go to the Olympic Games. Now it's a committee, it's Bella Caroli, and it's not scores that matter its opinions. So what is the procedure that will take place in that room? That remains a mystery to many. And the selection committee has been ordered by USA Gymnastics not to talk to us about it or anybody else. Right, L.P. Schlegel? Well, one person on that committee, along with myself, knows exactly what it feels like to have an Olympics taken away. Well, the other day in practice, I went up to Tracy Talavera, who is on that committee, just to say hello. She looked at me and said, Elfie, you're with NBC. I can't talk to you. A process like this brings back bad memories for Bill and Donna Strauss. Their gymnast, Kim Kelly, was fifth after the Olympic trials in 92, and they thought they were headed to Barcelona. All of a sudden, people went into a room and came out with the news that Kim Kelly was out. They were devastated, and now they're the coaches of Kristen Maloney, the defending national champion. They don't want to see history come close to being repeated. Let's go to Beth Ruyek. Thanks, Al. Well, this is a copy of the selection procedures that the Strausses, along with every coach and every athlete, have to sign. It indicates that they understand and agree to those procedures. Well, Donna Strauss has signed it, but she has crossed out the word agree. It's a small protest, but she and others who have also done the same thing feel that it's one way that they can express their dissatisfaction with this selection process. As overseer of the U.S. Olympic effort, Bella Caroli continues to talk to us and has all good things to say about Kristen Maloney, who leads after the preliminaries. Elise Ray with a very strong showing just a few weeks after knee surgery. And Vanessa Atler once again had to battle the uneven bars and didn't win that battle. Today, that will be her last event. Not many athletes, Al, would want to start on the balance beam, but I think for Vanessa, this has always been a strong event. She has not had problems at the national events. After the World Championships, Vanessa Adler injured ankle, two surgeries to remove bone chips, just recently starting to feel no pain in that ankle. We talked a lot about the special requirements on balance beam and what the judges are specifically looking for. One of the areas are connecting combinations like jumps right here, which she does perfectly well. The whole key is not having any visible pause whatsoever from one element to the other. Very difficult skill right here, but Vanessa was supposed to connect a jump, which would have given her two tenths bonus for the combination. She won't get that. Many of the gymnasts that we've seen here in St. Louis are on a raw emotional edge, Vanessa included. From last year's nationals to this year, she's split with her coaches, Beth and Steve Rybacki in Southern California. Moving to train in Plano, Texas with world and Olympic gold medalist Valery Liukin. Now he was known for taking things to new heights in his career and that's what they're hoping for with Vanessa. But she still has the uneven bars specter hanging over her head.
goes Valeri. Well, how did she do, guys? I think Bella will be impressed with the competitive fire that she showed through the routine. This is, this is what Vanessa is known for. Powerful acrobatic series here, ending in a layout. Beautifully done, she was solid, but it's the smaller skills, sometimes the easier ones that she has some trouble with, and she did here. She will lose some valuable tenths from that combination that good. she didn't do. That's good, that's good, that's good. Don't worry, man. Everything's good. Okay. We go. We go. Together. Okay. Gotta say it, he was one of my idols. First guy in the world, triple back somersault on floor. Unreal. Now we get to a subplot here, a vindication perhaps for the Rybackis. Jamie Dancher had also left their gym for a time, but now she's back. A year ago, you never could have predicted that she could thrust herself back into the Olympic picture. But after day one, she's done exactly that. picks up right where she left off in the preliminaries, but if you're looking for a gymnast who might be concerned about the selection procedures, here's Jamie Dancher. Awesome, says Beth Rybacki. Her husband Steve there as well. Is she coming on too late? Nice well, Arabia. Well, Jamie missed the June training camp because of an injury, and at that time, Bella questioned her commitment. No question about her commitment now. Here's Elise Ray. You know, there's a lot of games within the game. This is a, a young lady that's certainly going to be on that Olympic team unless something disastrous goes wrong. But on this event right here, she has an opportunity to be an Olympic medalist, maybe a gold medalist. And she's planning on unveiling a combination that could be one of the major buzzes in Sydney, Australia. Comes up right here, two releases in a row. There's one. Oh! Unbelievable. Nothing like unveiling a skill at the national championships with the title on the line. That is big time, trend setting, buzz creating gymnastics. Second awesome, this one from Coach Kelly Hill. 